everybody, this is Mon PJC, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. In today's episode, we're going to be turning this very large empty room behind us into a dorm for all of our soldiers. So, let's get to it and let's see how we do it. So we're going to start off in this very large area. And you might actually have a room like this where you want to turn into a room and decorate it. And decorating rooms can be quite difficult. Quite often one of the ways to do it is to actually just start from the inside and build around it. <clears throat> but that's not normally how buildings are properly designed. Well, I guess they are in a way. So what I'm going to show you here today is taking this exterior of the castle that we've got this fixed shape and we're going to place a dormitory within this side. And in here we're going to have beds and all different materials and furniture in place for them to actually get going. So we've got this big area, so how are we going to get started? Well the first thing we need to do is to actually get some resources and materials to actually build in here with. So one of the first things that I'm going to need, don't interrupt me villager, one of the first things I'm going to need is wool for making beds for our people to sleep in, our army people, our soldiers, that's what they're called. Um, excuse me, you just, you just walked into shot. Uh, really? So, excuse me. Um, so we're gonna need some wool, and behind me, we've been breeding some sheep. He's still there. And I've dyed them gray, so that when I breed them, I get more gray sheep, and therefore I can I can therefore then shear them a bit more. I'll be back in a minute. The other thing I'm going to need as well is item frames. <clears throat> now to make item frames you need sticks and leather. And for leather I need cows. And that's why there's a load of cows behind me in a pen. I suggest not watching the next 10 seconds of video. Yeah, you might want to skip over the next bit. There we go. That didn't take too long at all. Um, that, that, that's not... That's not what you think is in my hand. I've been eating fish. Honest. Yeah. Honestly. And last of all, I need wood. Because I need wood for sticks. I need wood for beds. And I also need a load of wood to make some trap doors. Uh, and doors as well. I need to make some doors as well. So, let's go and collect all that stuff up as well. <clears throat> You don't sound like a llama. Hello, piggy. How you do that? How'd you do that? Can you do that? That's weird. You should... But I... Um... Excuse me. So having collected quite a lot of resources now in the way of wood and leather and wool, obviously, of course, as well. So I'm going to go back into the castle now and I'm going to craft up a lot of the things that I need, which are going to be trap doors, more spruce doors like this one and some fence posts and I've already collected a load of iron so what I'm going to do is collect some bits and pieces together and put together the first example of what I want to do before we make the rest of the room up. 
So I've managed to collect up a reasonable bit of resources just here to start with. So we've got some beds, we've got some item frames, we've got some uh, trap doors here, which are going to become very useful. Some normal doors and some fence posts. Right, so the first thing we're going to start off with is a few beds. And we'll take some of these trap doors as well, just to give you an idea of what we're going to make. So we're going to start, oh, I want a couple of doors as well, um, let's take a few of those. So the first thing that we're going to do is make an area for the clothes to go in for our people that are going to be here. So they do this very simply by using some trap doors and we're going to make a little chest here. So put this down there, click space. Now to put another item on the top just press uh, shift key and click and up like that and there we have a wardrobe obviously it's got nothing in it it's just for look but that's quite nice now what we're going to do here is we're going to build a bed and let's take a bed take the door out of the way we could put bunk beds so how are we going to get the second bed up there Oops, sorry jumping around a bit here so we're going to put a, an end on here like that and then we're going to shift and click, put another layer there. Now I want the bed to be on top of this layer. So I need to build my next layer of trap doors under here like that. So shift there, shift there. And then if I take my next bed, now obviously I can't just jump and shift because it obviously hits that down. So I need to be standing on a block. Uh, let's have a look. Have I got a block I can stand on? Should have come prepared. Let's find a, a dirt block. Like that. Right there, because it's really easy to break. And then that way I can hold shift down and click on there and the bed goes into place. Then I can take my last trap door like this. Just nudge on to the end there. I need to be back a bit. Out the way so it goes in. And there we go. There we have a set of bunk beds. And a cupboard for each one. Now what we do is we put the next unit here like that. So we build the back of the wardrobe first. Like so. Now it's going to be a little bit more difficult to build the, um, put that like that. That's not going to be difficult at all. That's quite easy. And there we have the next cu uh, uh, cupboard in place to put their stuff in. So I'm going to build some more of these all the way around the room. I'm going to put the torches out like that all the way around the ceiling as well, so we can see what we are. And I'll be back in two ticks of a what's it thingy what's it and I don't know what that saying is and we'll see what we've done so this is an, an initial look of what our dorm room now looks like now we've got a whole load of beds in here you see it's very repetitive that's how it would be we've got this stuff in here not very much detail and I've started actually putting down the the bunk beds on this side of the room as well as you can see and then we're going to put a wall down the back here. So all this side is going to be the dormitory area. And that side in our next episode is where we're going to build our restaurant area for them. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to put a wall up here and frame this room a little bit more and finish off the tops of these. And then we'll have a look, see what that looks like. So as you can see, our dorm's looking a little bit more finished off now. It looks a bit more like a proper dorm room. It's quite empty in the middle here, which is where we're actually going to build our next bit. I've put some item frames up here. Uh, what do you think I would be putting in the item frames? Any ideas? Think about it? No? I'll let you find out in a minute. Firstly, we're going to do a bit of this. I think I'm going to build it about there. Let's think, uh, there and there, and then there'd be another two, hmm, yeah, to there, 
and maybe three in that one. Yeah, I think three in that one, and then one, two, three in that one, but that would leave two that end. So how much space did I leave this end? Just the one block to get around the end? Yeah. I might put one there like that. So there's two there and two there. Then two there and two there. That's okay. So you're probably wondering what this is going to be. Well, the idea of this is these guys in here are normally going to be wandering around in their everyday clothes. You wouldn't normally wear your armor every day. And so what we need is somewhere to keep the armor ready and prepared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some armor stands in here. And we're going to build armor in this area. I'll make it look like armor stands. So it looks like the armor is actually hanging from these rails. And you may have noticed I've, I've got an extra one in here. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put a chest in there. Just so that we've got some, some storage. So let's do something like that. That looks okay. We can probably put some lighting on the top of these as well. So you could cheat. If you've got blocks like this where you've got your fence post and you want to put a torch on the top of that and you can't like reach, you can actually go up one above. So you can go like that. Just point at the block above and it'll put it on, the, on there for you. And that's just enough to break up the lighting in here a bit. So if I go there and there and then I might do one there and one there as well there we go just some torches on the top just so that it breaks up that lighting so that's not so bad right so armor stands let's have a look see how we make armor stands we make those with stone and sticks uh, have I got any stone um, I can't remember if you know it used normal stone I think you use cobble is it cobble? I can't remember. Let's get some sticks. Uh, let's get a stack of sticks. And it should come up. No, it doesn't come up there. So do I have to make slabs first? And then... No, I've got even less there now. So, hmm. I got the feeling it was like smooth stone or something. It's definitely not those. I haven't got anything in there. Let's have a look at the recipe book. Uh, so what we've got? Armor. A arm. Armor stand. An armor stand needs a single stone slab. Hmm. Okay. A load of sticks. Right. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go and get a load of materials and get some stone slabs made. So let's have another go at doing this. We should be able to get some armor stands now. So make some slabs like that. And 10. Yeah, that should probably do me for what I need. Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, actually going to need more than that. 9, 10, so 2, 4, 6 more. Let's get some more. I uh, need some more sticks. I'm trying to use the wood that I wouldn't normally have around in this area. So I, I find it quite important to actually build with the materials that you would normally be having in the area. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That'll do. Oh, I've actually made seven. This is probably going to start lagging my server by... Oh, I've got a wonky one. This is army. Can't have wonky. Uh, I might just stick one in the corridor there like that. Um, yeah, right. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a load of 
iron on me somewhere. Where did I put it all? I can't get through the doorway. Let's just get rid of all my wooden items in there. And my stone stuff goes up there, like that. So, we've got a big block of iron. I'm just going to take half of this to start with. So, we want... How many did we make? I can't remember now. What was there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 16. We'll leave that one for now. So you want 16 of each of these. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, I can only pick up one at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you know what? I'm going to make all these. And you can come back and see what I've done in a minute. Okay, cool. Hi guys, so I've just come back from putting some of my materials away and I thought I'd come back and show you what we've done. And this is the entrance way to our dormitory. So this is a small doorway, little corridor here. As you can see, I've actually even put in an armor stand with a guard on there and he's got the flag that we use in the area he's holding a sword he's, he's holding his banner and he's like protecting the area on on guard how you doing dude and in here we've got little archways and now you can see that we've got these long rows of armor all hanging up ready to go with a chest in the middle here which is full of arrows Along here, we've got some uh, some item frames up here. I should have put some little um, slabs in there just to hold them. I'll come back in and uh, tidy that up. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I quite like the look of that. I think we might have to get a screenshot of that. There we go. One for the thumbnail, I reckon. And the one thing I put up here, these item frames, which I talked about. As you can see, I've actually put a sword and I've actually put a bow in each one. So this would actually represent what each of the guards would actually be able to do. So we've got a swordsman and we've got an archer. So that's why we've got these uh, uh, arrows in the chest here that they can collect. This guy's in the corner there. He's keeping an eye on me. And we've got all this armor ready here to go. So that is our little area completed in there of what we've actually done. Let's come stand next to this guy and actually get a picture with him. There we go. So I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit that like button and, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And remember to hit the little dip bell button as well so that you actually um, get alerts when things are done. Hope you've really enjoyed this. Thanks very much again. Bye.